Hey everyone, welcome into part two of my Blasting Grooves drum lesson. If you haven't checked out the first one, click the link somewhere above here. All right, I'm gonna be breaking down another two grooves to showcase what blasting tastefully in a groove setting sounds like. Here's what the first groove sounds like at 50 beats per minute. Download that PDF and follow along. If you watched the first video, you'll notice that that groove had a lot of similarities to the first groove in the last video. I did this so then we can kind of pick it up where we left off almost and just kind of add a little spice to it to give more flavor. As you can see, the hi-hats are doing constant eighth notes. Your kick drum is on the one, the and of one, the and of three, and then lastly on the E of four. Just like the first groove of the last video, the snare is accented on 2 and 4, and then on the 1 E and the 3 E, we have ghost notes. The only difference now is that we're adding a ghost note on the A uh of B2. So now the major difference between the last groove and the groove we're dealing with right now is that there's 16th note triplets on the AND of B4. What you want to do is have your hi-hats on the AND of 4, and then you're just going to do two little doubles as ghost notes on your snare. Let's see what this sounds like at 60 and 80 beats per minute. Let's add the blast into this now, shall we? What we're going to be doing is the blasting is going to be on beat 2. So for all four of those 16th notes, 2, E, and A, uh, we're going to be accenting those snares. So let's try this out at 100 beats per minute. Okay, on to the next groove. Now this groove is a legendary one. It's more for intermediate advanced players, but I don't want to put a label on it. Let's just have some fun with it. Now it's a famous halftime shuffle. Can you guess what it is? Is it all right if you guess C Jeff Percaro shuffle from Toto's Rosanna you got it Jeff Percaro, may he rest his soul, was a really solid, innovative player. He played for Toto for many years, as well as did a lot of session work on a lot of famous tunes you may have heard. Now, he basically took the Purdy Shuffle and the John Bonham Shuffle, put them together, and added his own little spin to it. This is how he came up with the groove for Rosanna by Toto. If you don't already know what a halftime shuffle is, there's a link right there for you. Check that out. Okay, so this particular halftime shuffle has two bars to it. The kick drum is on the one, the let of two, and the downbeat of four. You still have all your ghost notes on all the middle triplets and your accent on three. We're gonna slow it down to 80 beats per minute 
and not worry about doing the full tempo yet. Let's check it out. Bar two has two kicks in it. The first one is on the let of one, and the next one is on the downbeat of three. Now the downbeat of three, you're still playing that snare accent, so do them both together. So let's check that out at the same tempo. Before we add the blast in, let's do a little shuffle exercise here. What we're going to be doing is doing constant triplets on your snare drum while shuffling over top. So let's check that out. Okay, you good with that? Let's move on. So we're going to be adding the blast in two spots here. In the first bar, we're going to be adding it on beat 3. On the second bar, we're going to be adding it on beat 3 and 4. Now because this is a shuffle and it's triplet based, what we're going to be doing is having three notes as a blast on the first bar, and then six notes as a blast on the second bar. Don't forget to keep the shuffle going, and we're going to just try this out at 80, 115, and then the actual tempo of Rosanna 167. playing that groove at the full tempo is pretty challenging. What you want to do is start slowly and slowly bring it up over time once you get more comfortable with it. As you can see, I'm still not quite there yet, but you know what? It's a work in progress. Alright, here we are, the end of my first two-part series. What'd you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Was there something you would have done differently? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Take this idea and run with it. No, literally. Run! Anyways, give it a thumbs up if you dig it, and subscribe for future content. Till next time.